everyone. This is Sarah from Visual Science. Today, I would like to introduce our software user interface for our autoreflectometer ARK7600. Okay, first, let's check the main capturing interface. Here is the right eye refraction data, the spherical, cylinder, axis, and uh, keratometer parameters. And this icon is to switch between adult mode and the children mode. The blue icon means the adult mode, and the green icon means the children mode. The children mode is for the children patient who are not so cooperative in the measurement. And then the main menu here, the first button is to switch between the refractor measurement, keratometer measurement, or the both measurement together mode. And here is the auto tracking, manual tracking switch. And here is the auto focus, manual focus uh, switch. And uh, this is an eraser to clear all the data measured. And here is to check the measuring data. So you can see the right eye and the left eye are showed together. And you can check the keratometer mood here as well. Here is the setting menu to set all kinds of parameters. And here is the printer icon to print the measuring records. And here you can change the step between 0 0.01 to 0 0.06 and 0 0.12, etc. And here is you can change the cylinder mode from plus or minus. And here you can change the verdicts from 12, 13.5, 15, these options. So here, here is the menu to check the Hartman array. Now let's check the setting menu to see all the parameters. So first we can see the refractive function parameters. Here you can set up the verdicts, the cylinder mode, the step for sphere, and the step for the cylinder measurement. And the object can be on or off. And here is the keratometer function parameters. Here is the measurement unit. You can see it set millimeters, diopters, and the average. And here is the step from 0 0.05 to 0 0.12, 0 0.25. And here is the index options. And here you can change the measuring mode this is the menu mode, and this is the auto measurement mode. And you can change the volume for the beep. You can turn it off or make it low or middle or high. And here is the measurement mode. You can have refractive measurement only or keratometer measurement only or both functions together. And here is the standby function. Uh, means the device will be automatically being standby in 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or 60 minutes. And the last one is the brightness control for the screen. Here is the printing setup. The first one means the auto printing function. You can turn it on or off. And the second one is the printing for the refractive data. And the third one is for keratometer data. And this is for to print the eye image out or not. And this is to this is to select the printing density. You can print here is to print the pupil distance data out or not. And this is for the spherical equivalent data out or not. And this is 
to print the basic curve out or not. And this is to clear all the printing data off or on. So here is the date setup mode. The first is the display mode. You can make it year, month, day in different combination. And here is the date setup. You can import the correct date, month, and the day. And here is the time setup. It's the same. You can put in the correct time. And here is the count function. It will count the patients that be measured. You can put turn it on or off. And here is the started number. Here is the message setup menu. You can set up the product model number and the shop name. Here is the data transmission setup. You can set different uh, parameters based on different transmission mode, and it can be automatical or manual. All right, so much for the illustration of the software interface for our autorefractometer. 